Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard. This is episode number 81 of season 4. I need to turn the music down. Currently live streaming on Twitch, guys. We are 13 hours into the stream. We are about 26,000 credits into Last Man Standing. And I keep, keep going down now in the rankings. I've gone down more in the last couple of hours than I have in... Than I did when I went to sleep for like, like 17 hours, man. So this shit, it's, it's sad. It's very, very sad that I'm going down this much. But yeah, I am currently 19th, guys. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to climb myself back up, if, if at all. One day, nine hours left. But guys, the point right now, the main focus is my ladder reward. I've just hit 40,000 games played. And it is a male ladder reward. Before I claim this, I want to quickly, quickly take you through uh, an event that happened before. I've got my pull, but I got my pull, guys. And uh, you might be like, "Oh, what was your pull? You need, to, you need to update it." Well, I don't need to update it because it was. Let's not swear. Demonetized. It was Jason Jordan. I was really, really unhappy about that, as you guys can probably guess, because it's I just proed him. He was my last pull. Got him again. Really sucked. Out of all the cards I could pull, I pulled Jason Jordan. Really, really sucked. So yeah. On top of that, last man standing. Credit. Credits after credits after credits were spent on that. Let's claim this. Let me just take a screenshot. All right. A pro would be lovely, of course. Of course a pro would be lovely. After after all the luck. Sorry, after all the terrible luck I've gotten. Hopefully I get lucky in here. Who knows? Streaming, of course, guys. So I'm going to wait for people to put their guesses in there. Drop your guesses in the chat, guys. Drop your guesses in there. Ric Flair, Styles, Cesaro, Jordan, Corbin, Braun. Three, two, one. Jey Uso. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I'm really happy. Really happy of that. It's not a pro. Obviously not a pro. <sighs> Alright guys. I'm really sorry that I seem down. And that I'm not. That it could be better guys. I'm sorry. It's just... I, f I think most of you guys watching this will understand what I'm going through in Last Man Standing with this game. How I feel. It's 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 hard. It really is hard right now to, to have any kind of like motivation or just be enthusiastic with this game. Appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you drop this video a like, comment, subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you guys for another segment in this video where hopefully I'm in a better mood. And uh, hopefully with some good news in Last Man Standing. I'm really aiming to finish top 20 at this rate. If I'm not willing to spend another another five something thousand credits, I don't know if I'll be able to. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the episode of WWE Supercard. So, today we've got a couple of things. We'll start off with the Spring Collection Packs. They've just added these to the store. WrestleMania 33 to Titan, 2,000 credits each. And obviously not even going to open them. I hope you guys didn't think that me going into this was me opening them. I just wanted to show you guys that they have added these now to the store. If you missed out on those Spring Fusions, uh, 2,000 credits um, for a 33 to Titan for me is the biggest ripoff you could possibly get. I mean, I mean, they're not even... 
if you're a low tier, they're not even really worth it because you'd only get one, so you'll never get a pro unless you maybe have a lot if you're a low tier. And if you're not a low tier, you can't get 34s out of them. So 2,000 credits, no thank you. Um, next thing we're going to have a look at is Last Man Standing. Now, they finally sent me an email back, um, uh, Cat Daddy, the support staff, um, Eric in particular, saying he fixed the my Last Man Standing glitch. The only thing is I was sleeping and there was like only a couple of hours left when it was fixed anyway, which means I was down for over 20, well, I say over, it was between 20 and 26 hours uh, that I could not play Last Man Standing for after I had spent so many credits to try and get myself a top 20 spot. I ended up 40th globally for Last Man Standing, which yes, I'm still happy about considering I had to go 24 hours without even playing the game, which I'm still fuming about. Um, but th then again, it's it's a number 40 spot. I'll take it. I'm, I suppose I'm happy with that. I could have gotten probably top 20 if they would um, would have let me play the game. But of course, with the Last Man Standing glitch, it screwed me over. So what I've said back is I want, I want something back for this. I want them to give me some credits back, to give me a pull, to give me a QR, and anything, but I deserve something in return for this after them not letting me play last month standing for 24 hours. Let me know down below in the comments if any of you have had this glitch. And it's frustrating as hell, guys. It's very, very frustrating. I think it's taking the piss if they don't get back to me or, or even say anything, you know, uh, like, you know, here, have 5,000 credits for, for your troubles or... Here, uh, have this, uh, you know, redeemable th uh, 34 pull. I don't know what they're going to do, if they're even going to give anything. They're probably not going to, but the fair thing here would be for them to give me something back after everything I've spent on this event uh, for them to screw me over on it. So there we go. We got 40th. I've already claimed my Triple H. I'm going to show you guys how OP he is. Of course, I'd have been able to go an even OP version, but still 40th. Um, and it, this is what it gave me guys. <laughs> Look at these stats on this Triple H. This is without using momentum It's already a hell of a lot better than the heroics um, look, look at that. AJ only just beats him in speed, and AJ's got the um, AJ's got heroic on. Uh, sorry, AJ's got the momentum on. So, fifteen thousand in toughness, six thousand in charisma, um, uh, one thousand more over AJ in speed, and then in power, it's like yeah, another another seven thousand stats. But again, that is with momentum on the AJ Styles cards. That is absolutely ridiculous. How good they've made this. Uh, these PV, these uh, last man standing cards. So I've tokened him five in power, five in toughness, and five in charisma. I didn't put any on his speed. I was debating whether putting maybe one or two on his speed, or even some on his proc. I didn't know how I wanted to do this card, but I just decided to go with the generic three uh, best stats. Uh, so that's what we went ahead and did. And I've already um, changed the image. I really like this throwback elite image, so I went ahead and rocked that image on. Uh, I do have this legacy one here, but. Doesn't look too bad, but it looks kind of cartoony, and uh, and yeah, I'm also a fan of this one, but it's obviously got that glow. Um, so yeah, just all all of the other images has this short hair, and I'm a big fan of um of the long hair Triple H images, and there's only three of them that I've got. There might be more in the game, but I've only got three of them, so we're gonna go with that throwback image there. So. Last man standing, all of that, let's put that behind us, it's over. Um, the horrible glitch that didn't let me play, um, I've, uh, I'll accept it, I'll put it behind me. What can I do about it? Nothing. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do now guys is I'm going to go into the team Road to Glory preview. Look at obviously all the undercards, you can see by the top of that it is Vandango. That is another single for me, of course it's another single. Um, but yeah, let's have a quick look. Uh, there we go, we'll start off with Natalia, so that Natalia card, very very nice for a lot of people who are in SummerSlam 17 Beast Monster tier, you know, though that 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 female wall will definitely help if you if your team can go ahead and get that. Sami Zayn is the monster and of course Tyler Breeze being the Titan, of course when they had Tyler Breeze as the 34, they had Van Dango as the Titan card, now they've reversed that. And it is Fandango as the um, 34 card. So yeah, it is the second worst card in the tier. Tyler, no, sorry, it is the worst card in the tier. I'm pretty sure Tyler Breeze being the second worst. Um, but unfortunately, yes, it is. Uh, it's only a single. That said, we never know we could get him from this platinum pack because that is the last thing we're gonna do, guys, in this video, and is get the platinum pack. Hopefully, hopefully we can get ourselves a 34. We've already gotten a Luke Gallows from one of these. Um, yeah. 
it would be really nice if we could get another one, you know, after the whole last man standing stuff and, and everything. It would be really nice to finish off with a 34 card. And what a surprise, there's no 34 card in this pack. It is the worst possible pack. Two monsters and a titan. Let's just see if we can get some catalog. Um, no, I don't think that. That's, the Tamina definitely isn't. I'm not sure about Natalia. And the titan is Samoa. Joe, right, all right, let's have a quick look then. Um, I'm not, yeah, definitely possible that Natalia and Samoa Joe are catalog, but none of them might be. Okay, so Samoa Joe is, he's the only one. We're gonna go and pro him there real quick. That's another Titan proed, another Titan done in the catalog. That's the platinum pack done. TRTG preview, that is gonna be uh, starting in seven hours. Ah, war. Another one day and six hours left. I am about three, three and a half thousand points away from getting me that fourth momentum slot. I'm going to definitely try and do that. I went ahead and claimed my monster fusion guys this morning. As soon as I woke up, I didn't really want to waste any time uh, for getting this Titan fusion. Of course, we're looking for a Becky Lynch or a Page because I would be proing them. They'll still uh, definitely help me out in uh, with my deck, with uh, RTG, with the next last man standing, of course, getting rid of those normal Titan cards and replacing them with, of course, these fusions, which are very, very good, especially, especially the... Um, the female ones. So that's what we're going to try and do. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. Of course, let me know everything that's happened over the weekend with your last man standing. Did you have the glitch? Where did you guys finish? How happy are you with the Triple H's? Because they are very, very good cards and uh, they will help you out massively. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye for now.